coach being played. Oh! Not an accurate hook at all. And yet another good shot from him. Off the mark, though. Solid to all the pressure. I mean, this is a guy that's been there, done that, and he couldn't care less about the pressures that are in front of him. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Round number one. Scheduled for the championship distance of 12. Great movement to get away from those punches. Teddy, obviously a fighter like this, well-balanced, he can do it all. Does he have to be careful not to do it all? Yeah, what he has to do, I think, is go back to his childhood when he went into the candy store. And his father took him in there and he saw everything. He saw almonds, he saw chocolate, he saw cherries, he saw jellies, he saw everything. And in the end, he got a bellyache. He's got to pick one thing. Nice combination there. Like that step back right there just enough to be out of danger but still close enough to then land the counter punch well that's what happens when you have that kind of experience you're calm enough to know that range know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is look at this another power punch able to land we're early on in this fight he's going for it yeah you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside not an accurate hook at all and yet another good shot comes in he goes down for the first time one, two, three, four, five, six. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. No, that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Solid left hand to the head. Nice job there, hooking to the body. Wow, look at that, training shot. That hook was well off the mark. A little something of his own, blocks a shot, brings back the uppercut. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Well, we could sit here all day and just laud him for his efforts of control early on here with these head shots and staying out of danger. But let's talk about the other side of it, Tim. Yeah, well, I'm going to talk about the other side, not the conventional side. Now, you got a shorter guy. He's having trouble with the taller guy keeping him on the outside. So you figure he can work his way in. Use his jab, you know, press forward, take the space away. There's another way. There's another way to skin a cat. Step back. Get the taller guy to give up his height. Become short. Teddy, what's the one thing that shows you a fighter like this is recovered? That a guy who was just knocked down in the last round now comes out for the next round and is fine. Well, the first thing I look at is, does he behave the way that he normally behaves? You know, is he a guy that all of a sudden starts running at his opponent and that's not his kind of style? That tells me he's still hurt. <laughs> that tells me he's still a little drunk. He fires off the combination there and it lands. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. Yes! Crafty counter-punching. Oh, boy, big shot up top. Comes right back with some offense of his own. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Nice work with the overhand right. Nice combination, landing more than one. Both were able to score. Scored well up top. that attack just off the mark with that punch well he's got the attitude something's got to stick he fires off the combination and they both do 
He gets hit, but he gives it right back. And now he's targeting upstairs. Oh, he turns it over right into a hook. And we come to the end of round number two. You want this fight? So early on here, this fight is showing us that there's one clear-cut advantage. His opponent can hit him from the outside whenever he wants to. Well, what it's also shown me is that this guy is harder to miss than he is to hit. Good look and two-punch combination there. He just gave his opponent a really good taste of how fast his hand speed is. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we talk about power, and we see that power, you know, can damage a guy right away, obviously, and it can intimidate an opponent. But hand speed can do the same thing, and I think it's an intimidating right now to his opponent. He's afraid to let that jab go because he might get counted with one of those lightning right hands. Hits him in the mug with the right. Now a little combination punching, landing both shots. That right hand serving him well. It's all right, keep moving, keep moving. Boy, he's really getting off with his punches and multi-numbers here. Cut. Off the mark there. Solid. And once again, he goes down. The question is, can he rise up again? One, two, three, four, five. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. There's a nice left hand able to get in. That's okay, that's okay. Let it go, let it go. Good flush shot upstairs. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. And this round comes to an end. This is yours. You hear me? The beginning of round four, a chance to look at the scorecards, and Teddy, you like what he's done so far early, a clean sweep of all three rounds. Yeah, a couple of rounds were close, but on the inside, when both of them had their chance to separate a little bit, he was the one who made the right decision to punch. Throws a counter punch there. Nice combination, throwing more than one, both scored there. Now, this is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Right. Oh! That is it. Gone. See ya. You are done. Out of here. Fight over. One punch over.